want you to take a step of faith today. If there is something that you are struggling with, and you want us to pray with you, get up and come here. And stand here and say to the congregation, I will pray with you. You say, I need to be set free from something. And Pastor, I want you to stand with me together in prayer. Come, let's pray with you. And God, there's no one. Why don't we pray? Father, we thank you today. We thank you that we have found you, the giver of freedom. You are the source of all freedom. You have set us free, Lord, from bondage, from slavery to sin. And you have filled us with your Holy Spirit to live victoriously every day. And to live a life that pleases you and that brings glory and honor to your name. We thank you, Lord, that if we are your disciples, that we must obey your teachings. Teach us, O oh Lord, to submit to your teaching in every area of our lives. Even in the times that we find it difficult or we don't understand. Lord, because truth is something that we must discover by living. Jesus, I pray today that if there's anyone in this room today who is still struggling with fear, I pray in the name of Jesus that you set the person free. God, I pray that you set us free, O oh God, from habits that do not glorify you. Father, from anger, from gossip, from depression, God set us free from the hurts and the traumas of the past that continue to haunt us in many, many ways, Lord. Cause your healing to come and rule our hearts. And Father, may faith and hope replace fear and doubt. Teach us, O oh God, to read your word and to believe these promises that you have given us every day. Thank you, Lord, that we have hope. We might not be able to get what we desire in this world. We might not be able to achieve everything that we've set out to, to to achieve, but God, there is one 
thing that Father we have. That is eternal life reserved for us in heaven. That we are citizens of God of heaven. A place where each and every one of us is fully loved and fully accepted. That our citizenship, that our being in heaven does not depend on our social standing or our nationality or where we come from, or who we are, but it comes by faith in you. Thank you, Lord. We praise your name, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. I haven't heard you. God is good. Hallelujah. I pray that you will live this week in victory. That you will live this week knowing that God is with you. That in all the challenges that will face you, in all the joys that will come your way, you'll be assured of one thing, of the presence of your Father in heaven. Amen? Amen. Amen. We am going to introduce for you Maria, who just walked in when we had our service. Maria, could you stand up and everyone will see who you are? We welcome people here like that. <laughs> Here's Maria, Pisani. Maria. Most of you who are migrants know Maria. Uh, Maria has worked for many, many years with migrants as in, since the beginning. And uh, until recently was the head of the IOM office in Malta and continues to work a lot in the field of migration. And it's such a joy to have you come in fellowship with us. Some of you know Maria already. Uh, Maria is doing research on women and her main interest, her main interest, and this is um, what I want to encourage you to do is the trafficking of women, the women who have been trafficked, women who have had to leave home because someone paid money to their parents or to their mother or father and promised jobs, but to end up being slaves and prostitutes on the streets of Europe. And Maria is trying to research that to see how these people who are under bondage and slavery to other people can be helped. So that's why she's here. If you know someone like that, then it's help. The good thing is that there is help. If you know a man who has been trafficked, if you know a woman who has been trafficked, someone who cannot go home because the parents risk being asked by the connection men, as we call them here, for money, and they're running away, please speak to us, because we can help. We can help, and Maria can help in this situation. So, not only do we want to know the story of these people, it's important that people know these stories, how they happen, how human beings are being sold like merchandise, promised jobs and people's daughters are put on the streets of Europe to become sex workers. Ooh. So, am I right in saying that Maria wasn't a very good introduction? <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
Oh, no, no, it's okay. No, no, I mean, we want to know people who come here, so we are very small enough that we are. Shall we stand up and hold our hands as we... Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in the heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Then share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless you for coming today. God bless you.